I have absolutely no shame in admitting the fact that I love instant ramen. I'll still gladly eat some for lunch every now and again. You guys have seen me make a ton of ramen recipes from the giant chicken bowl to the fried ramen. It's just one of the most perfect foods and that is why I'm thrilled you guys voted for me to try Mythical Chef Josh's instant ramen quarantine hacks. Food purists everywhere, please close your eyes because today we are making a instant ramen salad, ramen cacio e pepe, and ramen french onion soup. I have no doubts that every single one of these are gonna be delicious, so let's get right into this one. I figured it would make the most sense to have our first course be our ramen salad. So to make that, I grabbed some vegetable oil and red wine vinegar, spicy brown mustard and green cabbage, a pack of instant ramen, a apple, and an onion. Shoutouts to everybody who's been asking me for what seems like years to start making some of Mythical Kitchen's recipes. I don't know how I've never gotten around to doing his. I love watching these videos, but after today, we'll finally be able to add him to the list of alumni of this channel. Chef Josh starts this one though with a homemade vinaigrette with the mustard, the vinegar and oil, as well as some of the seasoning packets. And then everything just gets chopped up and sliced and tossed all together. Funny enough, I actually had the opposite problem that Josh had. He couldn't find green cabbage in his grocery store, and I couldn't find purple, so we're each using the opposite color. This should work out just the same though, so I sliced that up, as well as half of my apple and then some onion as well. Don't get me wrong, I feel some of your cringes from home, but I feel like this is one of those don't knock it until you try it recipes. I'm gonna go into this with an open mind, so let's give it a taste. This is definitely one of the more unique <laughs> recipes I've ever done on the channel. I can't think of any other recipe I've done that even comes close to this. Should I be embarrassed to admit that I kind of love this? I mean, it's light, it's crunchy, it's flavorful, like, what's not to like? The initial look of seeing little cubes of ramen noodles is a little strange at first, but uh, they're pre-cooked in the factory, like, you can eat them with no problem. If I was trying to nitpick, maybe it could use a squeeze of lemon juice or something to up the brightness even further. Uh, it's gonna have your breath kinda hot <laughs> afterwards because of the onions, uh, the ramen packet even. But other than that, this is a really strong start. Next up, we have a very simple ramen cacio e pepe. You guys have actually been asking me to do the real version forever. Hopefully this can hold you over until I get to that. I grabbed some water and another pack of ramen, black pepper and a hunk of our leftover Parmesan wheel, and then some unsalted butter. Believe it or not, I think this one's gonna come together even quicker than the last recipe, so bear with me throughout all this. As I mentioned, ramen's pre-cooked, so as soon as it rehydrates, you can eat it. And I'm gonna try really hard to prevent the noodles from overcooking and becoming mushy. Literally, all this sauce is going to be is some emulsified butter and the ramen cooking liquid, a little sprinkle of the seasoning packet, some black pepper, and a little fresh grated Parmesan. Before you say anything, yes, I do see the irony in the fact that I seem to have nailed this in the very first try. Meanwhile, I can't even make a homemade fettuccine without clumping up the cheese or burning the pasta. I guess it's probably because I spent five years making ridiculous out-of-the-box recipes like this, so I'm not gonna complain, but let's give this one a try. I am so freaking... <laughs> excited for this. It combines two of my favorite foods, ramen and really any Italian dish with cheese in it. Oh my God. Actually, don't look at my shorts. This is goddamn phenomenal. Oh my God. It combines the best part of that umami rich chicken flavor of the seasoning packet with the like super sharp, flavorful Parmesan. If this pasta was over any heat at all for another 30 seconds, it'd be overcooked. I think that's the key to this one if you're gonna try it. Cook that brick for as little time as possible. Get it in the heat, just whip it up quick. Don't let it sit around. This is just so damn good though. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. 
Our final course of the day is the most delicious looking ramen French onion soup. And to make that, I grabbed some cognac and a pack of beef flavored ramen, a quart of water, salt and pepper, two onions, some cheddar cheese, and some butter. Growing up, and even a few years ago, before I started making these videos, French onion soup was always one of those recipes where I just assumed it took forever, either hours or days. You've gotta caramelize onions, you've gotta simmer a beef stock broth forever, but most recipes don't really take all that long, and this one is no exception. I thinly sliced my two yellow onions, I threw it down in my Dutch oven with some butter and a little sprinkle of vegetable oil, and I'm not entirely sure if I didn't add enough Hennessy or I didn't cook my onions down long enough, but after I added my quart of water, mine was nowhere near as dark as Chef Josh's was. Even after I gave it another 10 to 15 minutes to simmer away, it still wasn't quite as dark, but it tasted pretty good. The flavor seemed to be intense enough, so I tossed in my brick of ramen. That'll absorb some of our moisture as well. And then I actually found an old French onion soup cup that is oven safe and won't shatter like some of the other utensils I've tried to put in the oven. And yes, I know he seemed to have used a cheddar jack or a Colby Jack cheese. And that was the only one not on sale in the store, so we're just gonna use some cheddar and call it a day. About three minutes later, I pull this out of the broiler and it looks and smells so good. So let's give our third course of the day a try. The smell coming off of this between the toasted cheddar, the onions, it's also burning me through this towel, but whatever. Ow. A spoon was also a very dumb idea. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, we're good. Oh my gosh. This is ramen French onion soup in every sense of the word. It's like you took the best parts of both of those soups and just... I can't believe how complex of a flavor you're able to get with just some caramelized onions and some brandy. It's so damn good. I don't think this one surpasses the last one, that like creamy Parmesan sauce was just next level, but this is really good. I recommend you give both a try. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave me a big like. A lot of you already know what's coming next week, so if you don't, let's just say, say goodbye to the current image behind me right now. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram if you don't already. Other than that, have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you right back here next time. Peace. With the M, M without the A, D Put the burgers in my money, super lazy Try and make a meal tonight, they ain't pay me Try and supersize my life with my A-team Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision we could make it